CampAbove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am not live tonight, so I just want to make that perfectly clear. I am actually in Houston, and you will see this video on March 17th. I did not want to leave you guys high and dry on your Sunday night, so I have a couple really cute projects to share with you. I'm really excited about them. And um, this is not going to be like a live class because I don't have anybody to talk to, right? Yeah. So I think, let me, I need to get my phone plugged in. I completely forgot about that. Hang tight. And let me get my cord over here so we don't lose power. Oh, I forgot to put my phone on do not disturb too. So uh, I hope nobody calls me. Um, I think we'll be okay. All right, I'm gonna flip my camera around. We are going to be working with the Latte Love Sweet Collection. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. We'll talk about my online class and I will show you a couple adorable projects. Hang tight. Okay, here we go. Let me get this all situated. I always like to have my my screen straight because I know that can be really annoying. There we go. When it's not straight. Let's tip that up a little bit. All the things, right? I moved my phone stand earlier today, so that's got it just a little goofy. Okay, I think we're good. I think that looks pretty straight. All right, you guys, we are going to be playing with a Little Latte DSP. This is so fun. This whole suite of products is one of our new um, online exclusives, and it is fantastic. We've got the DSP. We've got the adhesive-backed swirl dots, which are really fun. The Latte Love Bundle stamp set and dies, as well as polka dot ribbon, which I don't have out here. Let me grab a roll. I cut the piece that I needed, so I wouldn't have to have the whole roll over here. So this is the polka dot ribbon, and this is all part of a sweet collection only available in my online store. So what I'm going to be sharing with you guys tonight is something that I did for my team uh, last month, I believe, and it was our mystery stamping project. That is one of the fun things about being part of my team. We do mystery stamping every month, and as a matter of fact, I am filming this video on Tuesday, March 12th, because at four o'clock in the morning or so, I need to get up and catch an airplane to Houston. And that's where I am tonight while you're watching this, if you're watching it on Sunday night. So um, I have a team meeting tonight and we're doing a whole different mystery stamping project. If you have ever thought about joining a team, you can be a discount shopper, you can build a business, you could do something in between, you can have a hybrid thing going on but it is a lot of fun and there's so much more to what I do that you don't see unless you're one of my team members. So if you have any questions about that, pop me an email. My email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com. I am happy to answer your questions. I have a site on my blog that says $99 kit in the right-hand column. When you click on that, you're going to get a whole question and answer thing. It's going to tell you all the details about joining my team. So before we get started, Barb Dina and I have chosen the Latte Love bundle for our online class this month. There are three different options. If you're outside the U.S., you can get the PDF file that has video tutorials, written instructions, dimensions, photos. It's fantastic. There are six different projects in this class. We are now in pre-order mode for the Latte Love online class. The PDF will be ready and emailed out on March 29th. My kits are going to be going out in the mail the week of March 31st. So you can get the whole shebang, which includes all of these products. You get the online class for free with that including pre-cut card stock for all six cards for $113. Option number two is the embellishments. Um, some of the specialty designer series paper we're using rose gold, which I'm also using tonight. The um, You're gonna get some of the polka dot trim and some linen thread to go with your six pre-cut card stock card pack. 
and the PDF with all the dimensions, pictures, um, written instructions, and links to the video tutorials. There is a video for each one of the cards in our online classes, so there's no guesswork. You can watch it and go, oh, that's how you do that. You can find this on my blog, astampabove.com. Just scroll down until you see this particular graphic and click on the Read More. Registration for that is there. When you register, I get an email and that prompts me to send you an invoice. So once you send me, once you pay that invoice, then you are on my register for this online class. So it's a lot of fun to do online classes. All right, if you are new to me, these are our current catalogs. These are going to be retiring at the end of April. If you would like the catalog sent to you, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I am happy to drop them in the mail to you. Okay, I think we're ready to rock here, you guys. So, I have some team members that are also traveling to Houston, and by the time you see this video, they will have already received their gift, and that's what I'm sharing tonight as my video tutorial with you is the gift that I'm giving to my team because it is so stinking adorable. All right, I have a piece of designer series paper, and this is from the A Little Latte DSP. And I chose this particular pattern, and I've got two other projects that I'll share with you using different patterns out of here. So you'll get a really good variety. Our piece of designer series paper is seven and three quarters by 12, and we're gonna do some scoring here. So I'm gonna get out my paper trimmer. We're gonna score at one inch on each side. If the short side is up against your baseboard, one inch on each side. So we're gonna score that, and then we're gonna turn it around and we're gonna score at one inch again. We are going to make a little gift bag or a gift box, whatever you wanna call it. Then we're gonna turn it on the long side. We're gonna score at four and a half, five and a half. Remember when you're scoring designer series paper, you don't wanna put a lot of pressure on it because it'll tear. It is uh, less weight than cardstock. We're gonna go down to 10 inches. So four and a half, five and a half. Now we are at 10 inches and then we're going to do 11 inches. So this is super, super easy as far as scoring goes. We're gonna take our bone folder and we're going to burnish all of these score lines. So I'm going to fold this one back so we can see that pretty Lost Lagoon striped design. This one I'm going to fold forward so we can see that coffee splatter design. And then we need to decide, do we want our box to, or our little gift bag box to be this on the outside, or do we want it to be this on the outside? And I'm thinking... I'm gonna go with the Lost Lagoon on the outside and you could certainly do either one. This is such a fun little project. So now I'm gonna fold this open. This is gonna be our top, okay? So I'm gonna fold that one back open and we are going to burnish all of these score lines as well. I hope you guys have had a good week. I always hate it when I miss you live because I get to chat with you and find out what's going on and who has birthdays and all the good stuff. I get to tell you about my week. My week has been pretty crazy, as you might well imagine. Getting ready to go out of town. All this stuff still has to be completed before I leave. Oh, this one doesn't, did I not score that? Oh, maybe I scored the same end, you guys. I need to, oh no, I don't need to score that one. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. So we've got We've got um, four and a half, five and a half, 10 and 11. There's no score line on this end. I tried to bend that. Now we're gonna do what we always do with the box. We're gonna pull in our score line and cut it up to that vertical score line. So we're gonna cut our tabs for our gift bag box. I don't know what to call this. I think I'm gonna call it a gift bag. Then I always like to cut a little piece of pie from my tabs. It just helps it fold better and lay down nicer something pretty standard that I do. We've had, I've had just a flurry of activity here today. Steve has been running back and forth to the recycle center with branches and stuff like that from our pear tree. 
and other things that need to be disposed of. And um, Andy's been here. She took her SATs today. She said she did really, really good on them. So this is our this is our bag, okay? This is our gift bag. This is gonna make a really nice little box and we'll put this together at the end. But I just wanna show you what's happening here. This all goes together perfectly, super duper cute. We need to decorate this, right? Because that's what we do. That's what we're good at. I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna bring in all my bits and pieces here. Oops, I dropped my ribbon. Hang tight. So I have all of my bits and pieces. I have a piece of our window sheet, which is see-through, so it's hard to see. I have a one inch strip of basic white. I've got a scrap of a rose gold specialty paper, a scrap of Lost Lagoon, and a scrap of crumb cake. So I'm going to, oh, and I need, hmm, where did that, oh, nope, I don't need that, okay. I've got the largest circle from the Stylish Shapes dies. We're gonna die cut that on the crumb cake. Next, we are going to bring out our Latte Love dies. These are so cute. We are going to, oh, I need a scrap. Hang on, I need a scrap of early espresso too. I don't know. I have, I don't have that in my little thing here. And this looks like, whoops, there's a good scrap of early espresso. Uh, trying to put that back. Still dealing with my broken drawer. I have to lock it every time or it falls open. That's how um, incredibly crooked, I guess, our floors are in this 124-year-old house. <laughs> okay, so this coffee pot is going to go on our window sheet. And we do sell window sheets. They're very good quality. We're going to die cut that. We are going to take, this is actually the coffee that goes in the little pot. We're going to die cut that on the early espresso. We are going to take, there's two little cups in here, and they each go opposite ways. We're going to die cut that on our Lost Lagoon. And then we've got a handle for our coffee pot and a lid for our coffee pot. Those are both going to go on that specialty rose gold paper. Okay, I think I've got all of that here. And is there anything else that I need to die cut for this? I don't think so, you guys. Um, okay, so we're going to get all of this die cut. Hang tight because you guys know that I've already done that, right? <laughs> That's how I roll. Get the stuff done ahead of time so you don't have to sit and wait for me to crank this all through my machine. And let me bring in all my little bits and pieces here. Oh, I did want to do something for you though. I wanted to share with you the craziness of this coffee pot. So hang tight, let me grab that again. So when you run this through on a window sheet, it makes a very scary noise. I want you to be aware of that. It's almost like it's cutting glass. So I've got my window sheet here. Here comes my little coffee pot. And wait till you hear this racket. Wow, right? Isn't that insane? I'm gonna cut an extra one here because I know that I will use it. And here is our little coffee pot, which is super fun in the window sheets because then it does look like glass. Okay, we have all our pieces out here. I'm gonna bring in one of my piercing mats so I can have something good to work on here. I don't make a mess all over my table. I, I have my glass mat sitting down um, underneath my desk because of the glare. I know some of you um, found that rather annoying and I can't blame you. <laughs> yeah. Um, for videos, it's not that great, but for my stamping, I absolutely love it. And by the way, those glass mats will be available I just don't have a date yet where you will be able to purchase them if you would like one. I've got Early Espresso ink in the Hello There Let's Catch Up. And I'm going to stamp that right on my one-inch strip. This is just a one-inch strip that I have. I think I've shown you guys this. I have this glass of strips from when I cut my layers for all my classes. This is just one of my one-inch strips here. I like to save all those because I, I do use them a lot. Next thing I'm going to do is 
I am going to cut this at an angle on each end, just like that, super easy. And then I wanted to tone this down a little bit, so I've got my um, black Stampin' Right marker. I was gonna use Early Espresso, but I need to get a new one because mine, I think I left the lid off of it, which is a bummer. So a little bit of flicking there. You wanna make sure you let this dry a little bit, you guys, because if you don't, it, it, it doesn't dry as fast as ink. You will smudge it. But that's what we have there. Looks fantastic, right? I like that. Okay, let's get this all put together. I'm also going to be using my stamp and seal. Um, glue on the window sheet is probably not the greatest idea because it's gonna take a long time to dry. So I decided to pull out my glue dots. And I know that I can cover this corner down here on my coffee, so I'm gonna put my glue dot right down there in that little corner. Just like that. And now I'm going to bring in my coffee pot and center that right in there. And that's gonna hold my coffee in place. All right, we're gonna do dimensionals on the back of our sentiment. We've got our crumb cake um, circle there. Here comes all of our little bits and pieces for our co coffee pot. And we've got both of our cups and I know that I'm gonna raise those up on dimensionals. So I mentioned that I have some team members going to um, Houston. And I like to either um, order something or give them a nice little gift. And this is my gift to my team members that are going. Uh, let me see, I've got one open over here. This is Stamp and Seal Plus. I really like the plus. We also have Stamp and Seal. But I don't usually use a tape runner, so the Seal Plus is just stronger. It's more like... Um, um, tear and tape as far as strength goes. And I can see that I have some tape that's spilling over onto the front. I just curl that over the back. This comes off in little segments, rectangular segments. I thought this would glue better onto a window sheet than glue. I don't wanna get glue all over the place. So I'm gonna bring this right in here and I'm going to push it right up against the edge of my coffee pot. Look at how cute that is, right? Ah, these are so sweet. And then, I'm going to add some of my Seal Plus right here. Whoops, let's get that coming out of there. There we go. And again, whoops, don't stick to my mat here. I'm gonna look at it and make sure that I don't have any tape running over the front so I can roll it around the back. And now I'm going to set that right on here. There's a little bit of tape coming off the back there. That's okay. We're going to put that right onto our circle. And now we can add, you can add glue. I'll, I'll use my glue. I'm, I'm more comfortable with glue. That's my choice for adhesive. Add some glue right there. And I think I'll add just a little bit of glue right here. I don't want this to go any place. I want this to be set down there really good. So I'm gonna put this kind of way over to the side and my little coffee handle, it's gonna hang off the side just a little bit. Oops, I just got glue. I squeezed it out from underneath. Ugh, let me see if I can get that off. It's really hard when you get glue on the specialty paper. So be really careful with that. Oh, I think I did a pretty good job. Okay, <laughs> nobody will know. Next thing I'm gonna do is add these little cups and I put both of them on dimensionals. This is the cup that's gonna cover up that mini glue dot, okay? So you don't need to, whoops, don't need to worry about that. I want the cup that goes, the handle on the left. And I'm gonna put that right up here. And I'm gonna bring my next cup in and I'm gonna just kind of offset it a little bit. How cute is that? And then this ribbon. So here's what I wanted to do. This is trim, it's not really ribbon. It's a, it's a little stiff. So I'm going to cut it and then I need two pieces and I'm gonna put them both together 
and angle that end. Make sure you have your nice, sharp paper snips. These are my ribbon ones. I don't use those to cut paper unless I make an error. Oops, I need those again. I'm gonna cut this off right here. And then I'm going to stagger it just a little bit. I'm gonna put it behind my circle and grab a stapler. This is gonna be fantastic. It's kind of a eclectic little embellishment there, don't you think? I love that. All right, I have to make sure I put that in the bin that's going to Brooke this week. She's making some swaps for me, so I can't forget to do that. Next, I'm going to take out these swirl dots. These are so pretty, you guys. I absolutely love them. And I think I'm going to use the cream colored ones. And I'll just put one right up there. I think that's going to go good. We'll be fine with that. Next, we're going to add some dimensionals to the back of our circle. So I don't have any John news this week, you guys, but I do have some Gino news, and you may wonder who is Gino. Gino lives across the street from us, and he's a really nice man. He's lived here longer than we have, and we've been here for like 20 years. And we saw a dumpster parked in his driveway the other day, and Steve's like, oh, I wonder what's going on over there. Maybe Gino's going to tear down his dilapidated garage and build a new one, and sure enough, the garage is gone, you guys. Here comes, this is the front panel of our gift bag. So I am going to, I want to make sure I get this centered nicely, right? I am going to center this right on here. That looks really good. And I left it open so I could, you know, make sure everything gets on here, right? So he is building a new garage. We're super excited to see that transform. And then we also found that our main street, that's only four blocks away out here, is going to be torn apart for two years, which means we're going to get a lot of traffic on our little street. And we're not too thrilled about that. Oops, that looks a little crooked. Ah, hang on. There we go. Oh my gosh. Look at our cute little bag, you guys. Ah, isn't this so adorable? Now, I have to travel with these to Houston, and I thought about leaving them flat. And if you ever would like to take a little gift to travel with, this is what I would do. Where's my tear and tape? Here it is. I didn't get it out. I'm going to take tear and tape. And if I were going to leave this flat, I would be able to travel with this and then put it together when I get to my location, right? Like I like to take a little gift for the um, hotel staff that cleans my room when we go on our Stampin' Up! trip. And um, this makes a nice little gift bag that you can you can leave flat, put it in your suitcase, take it with you, tear off the tape, and put it together and leave a little gift in it, right? So I'm going to keep going here. Where else do I need tear and tape? Right along this edge. And I found a box. I'll show it to you. I found a box to travel with. So I think I'm actually going to put mine together. Whoops. Before I do this, I want to add just a little bit of tear and tape under this flap right here. And I'm actually going to pull that off. I don't like that it sticks out there flapping around. That's not okay with me. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna put, you could put it on this edge right here. Put your box together. How is this gonna go together? We could put it right on this edge. I think I'll do this edge. Doesn't make any difference. Either way, it's gonna glue it down. So we're gonna go from that score line, score lines right here, all the way up to the top. There we go. We got that done. Everything's looking good. I'm gonna do a dry fit before I start pulling off tear and tape. I like my seams to happen in the back. So this is the front of my box. This is closing this way, so my seam is in the back. My seam is in the back here, right? And I just wanna do a dry fit, see if I need to trim anything down because on the other boxes that I made, I needed to trim a little piece of pie off each edge here. And this one doesn't look like it needs it. I don't know why those other ones did, but this one looks like it's lining up perfectly. So we're gonna leave it at that. We're gonna put the side one together first. 
And I'm just gonna, again, do a dry fit here. You should be able to lay this right down. So we're gonna pull off our tear and tape. I hope this box fits in my suitcase. I don't think I need many clothes for Houston, right? It's supposed to be in the low 80s when we get there and in the high 60s by the time we leave. Okay, so just lay it down, push it down. Everything should line up if you did your scoring right. Oh, I need another piece of tape right here. I think I'll just use a little bit of glue there because we're just gluing a flap down. It's not gonna try to pop up on us. And I just like that to be finished off. I'm picky about that. Okay, here comes this one. We're gonna peel this off. And my Anna was here today. She came over and worked, did some computer work while she sat here. She's a real estate agent in the Appleton area. So if anybody needs to buy or sell a house, hit her up. She's really good at what she does, of course, right? Okay, so here's our little box. I have some tissue paper here, and one of the really cute things you could do is you could stamp some cocoa beans all over it. I am not going to do that right at the moment because I'm a little pressed for time. I haven't even started packing yet, you guys, and it is Tuesday afternoon. I know you're watching this on Sunday night, but it is Tuesday afternoon here, and I have a team meeting yet tonight, and my husband goes to bed early. I was thinking about asking Steve to sleep in the living room so I could pack late at night. Look at how cute that is, right? So I'm not gonna use tissue paper for my gift idea because I've got too much going in here, but let me show you what I've got. I've got some little tissues. This is for everybody to use at our event, which is at a convention center. So I thought I always need tissues. Sarah and Shelly, the owner and CEO, they, they always make us cry at some point. Some touching story. Here I have a Stroop waffle, which I hear is good with coffee. You guys know I don't really like coffee, right? But I love this coffee set. Like I knew I had to have it. I have a Starbucks gift card because I checked ahead and Starbucks is right in our convention center. So I thought that was a great idea. I bought some peach mango. They don't have coffee flavor, Crystal Light. But you know how you buy a bottle of water at a convention? I figured these would be really tasty to have for your bottled water, so I'm gonna put those in there. And then I bought some coffee-flavored, coffee-flavored Werther's because you always need a little candy to keep your mouth from getting dry. Last but not least, a Stamp Happy Academy pen to help you take notes while you're at the event. Here is my adorable little gift, but there's more. Hang tight. I had to make a card, right? <laughs> so I love these little mini cards that I've made for my team. When I send out gifts or prizes, sometimes I'll put them in there. Um, usually if they meet a challenge, I like to do that. So this is two and three quarters by eight and a half, and I've already scored it at four and a quarter. So we're gonna fold this over. This is um, pecan pie, fold that over. This is for the inside that I will write in telling them how happy that I am they are at the event and that they are valued. So I got just a half inch strip of that designer paper on here. This is gonna go on the inside. Now, I thought about stamping you're the best part of my day, but there's not a lot of room in here to write. So I'm gonna leave mine blank so that I can write them a nice message and, oops, I got that kind of crooked. Come on, Kelly, you can do it. These are stampers. These are my people. I can't make these crooked. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure. Next, what I'm going to do is I took two strips of designer series paper. I've got this pattern. This one is one by three and seven eighths. This one is one and a quarter by three and a half and I am going to run the longer, thinner one right down the side of my little mini card. Just like this. I want it to be equal distance, top, bottom, and left side here. 
And then I'm going to bring this one in and center it from top to bottom and put it about halfway into this other designer series paper strip. Then, this is really fun. Oops, hang on, I've got dyes going everywhere. This particular die cuts out the designer series paper. So you can cut out all these little cups with a die, which makes it pretty darn handy, right? So I have a little cup here. I'm gonna add, let me, I'll show you that for just a little bit more. I'm going to add dimensionals to the back of my cup. And I just got done with our mystery stamping project for the meeting tonight. I'm super excited about it. It uses the Excellent Eggs stamp set. Oh, so fun. I love that one. We're going to pop these off. And I've got to get these all written in too, right? I'm going to add this right here. Good grief. It's so cute, isn't it? But wait, there's more. I'm going to take some um, linen thread part of the online class that I have coming up. So super fun. I'm going to do, this is my bow jig. If you don't have something that helps you tie bows, you need to do that. Um, I'm going to cut this off. Let's see, I didn't measure my twine, but I'm just going to cut this off and have two pieces. I want to have a double bow here. It's just something a little more substantial. This is probably way too much. But if you don't have a bow tire, I do sell these. They're $10. If you're in the U.S., you can buy one. That covers the cost of them and my shipping and envelope. So I don't make any money off of them. I just got a brand new order in from my friend Kathy. She has a gentleman that supplies her with these. It won't look exactly like this one, you guys. But it um, does the same thing. This one's a little bit smaller. The ones that he makes are a little bigger. I sent mine out to Brooke to work on swaps so this is the one I'm using now I've got a whole bunch of them like they're everywhere I love the ease of tying bows with them and when you buy that from me I'm not trying to sell this to you but just so you know I have a video that shows how to use it and how to tie double bows and triple bows and use ribbon and use twine and all the things so I send that out um with the I said I email that out to people oh my gosh look how good that is Okay, so here we go. Let me move this, get this out of the way. Here is our little gift pack that I'm going to give to my team members when we go to on stage. I'm going to be flying out early tomorrow morning, which is Wednesday. Mind you, this is Sunday, but I'm leaving on the 14th or uh, the 13th, and I'll be del hand delivering these to everybody. And then I haven't, um, I haven't. Put these together yet but I have them done here's another one and here's the little card you guys isn't it super duper cute so I'll tuck this inside here so I've got that one and this one let me clear my desk like a boss right and here is the last one aren't they just so fun I, I almost couldn't stop myself and these are the three designs that I made. Super duper cute. All of these are exactly the same, just different papers. I love that we are able to do that, right? Then I'll show you one more. I kind of squished this one with my iPad and I'm kind of mad about it. Oh, I got it to look decent. This was actually our mystery stamping from, um... oh, I made another card here too. Look, I've got this one too. This is a little bit different paper. But this was our mystery stamping from our team meeting last month. And this one actually has a card that is attached right to the front of it. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. I can't remember the name of this paper, but you guys will know what it is. It's one of our online exclusives that goes with the translucent set. And that's the stamp set that I used here. I used the hybrid folder for the hello. Super, super pretty. This is something that I would hand deliver. Go out to lunch with somebody and put a little candies in there or a big cookie from the bakery. Yeah. So I hope you guys love this. Now, remember, this is my blog, www.estampabove. I want you guys to click down at the bottom of my video, bottom right-hand corner. I hope I'm pointing the right way. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. I will be live again on the 24th of March, 
and that live will have another card kit available with your qualifying order. This is just an extra video because I was going to be gone. I hope you guys love this and we'll make some of these. I know we all have enough paper, right? Yeah, I've got just a touch of mail to share with you. Hang tight. I got a couple beautiful cards in the mail this week. Look at this one. Ah, I just love that little duck. Do you guys remember that? Super, super cute. Sending warm and happy wishes this spring. This is from my friend Elaine. Elaine is one of my longtime customers from when I first started. And then I got this card is from Mary Wagner. Yeah, pretty, pretty. I like all the strips of designer paper. Isn't this gorgeous? And she says, thank you so much for the pastel sequins. I received the bow maker and I'm working hard to create perfect bows. So she just bought a bow jig. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Beautiful, beautiful mail. Thank you guys so much. I love my happy mail. Oh, I wanted to, one more thing. One more thing I'm putting in my little, my little um, box. I almost forgot about this. I need to get these loaded. Um, this is a ribbon that goes on our name tags. So I thought I would bring that in and show you what the heck that is. So when we go to a Stampin' Up! event, I have had my own personal branding put on one of these ribbons. And Stampin' Up! gives us all these ribbons um, based on your achievements. So you can see this one is was from Indianapolis. I just happened to have it hanging in the other room. And so these were all my achievement ribbons. And then I give these to my team members so they can put them on. They just add it with a tear-off strip to the back and they have an additional ribbon to put on their name tag. So fun, right? This gets us into our events. We'll get a new one in Houston, but um, this just gets added to all those ribbons. So that's really fun. Did I miss anything I wanted to share with you guys? I hope not. Um, like I said, I better put this in here. I will be back on March 24th and I will have a class ready for you guys. I don't know what I'm using yet. If you have any suggestions on, on a certain bundle or suite that you would like to see me use, let me know. Um, I might be able to um, work that in, but I'm sure it's going to be something really, really fun because, well, you know, that's what we do. If you can't have fun, stay home. <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Latte Love Online Class uses all of these beautiful products. You will absolutely love this. Have yourselves a great week, you guys. Thank you for spending your evening with me. Bye-bye.